What's going on, FG fam? Welcome to another episode of the Washington football team franchise here on Madden 20. Another sim year for you. We tried to get as many guys as we could back onto the squad. Dave Zimmerman is joining us back. Drop a like for that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel at all and love franchise because that is all we do here and we could build a winner together. So Barry Van Buren, Jeffy Moore looking to get themselves back into the Super Bowl for another time if they can at some point. Keon Gregory, oof, 93 overall X Factor. You love to see the big three moving and grooving and succeeding in this series. Unfortunately, right now we have negative 90K in cap space, so we can't really sign anyone. George Kittle no longer on the squad. And now we're just looking for guys to replace other guys. Springs, uh, Clemens, those guys used to be on our team. Khalil Bodden, he used to be a guy on our team. There are a lot of guys all throughout the league now that used to play for us. Matthew Ioannidis finding a new team now. Uh, Vita Vea is going to be on a new team. That's very interesting because he was just in the NFC title game with the Buccaneers. So cool. Curry used to be a guy on our team as well. We traded him away to the Pats, and now he is off the team. McCrary is going to the Ravens. They bring in a very good middle linebacker who used to play for us. He is nice. So he goes to a new team as well. A lot of corners in this free agent class. McDougal is a nice free safety, strong safety. Demarcus Lincoln going to the Ravens. Maybe he's the brother of Dewan Lincoln. I don't know. That's for FGFLers. If you're not in the FGFL, there is a link below to join the FGFL Discord, which is streamed live on Twitch mostly every day, not Fridays. We do get the number one overall pick and the number two overall pick in this draft by trading away some expiring contracts along with some picks we had already procured ahead of time. We also get the number four overall pick for another guy that we were probably going to let go at the end of the year and another draft pick that we had already procured ahead of time. We also get the number five overall pick with two second round picks and a backup left tackle. So this is the good thing about having a lot of depth on the squad and always having a lot of draft capital. You can always make moves like this. I guarantee you my Madden 21 franchise will not be this unrealistic. I promise, I promise. But Gary Calcutta is our number one overall pick. He is ranked seven in true talent, but he's a normal development. So he's probably not going to be part of a starting lineup in a Super Bowl. Artavius Thibodeau is another very interesting prospect. We bring him in 77 hidden. I kind of really like him. We take him at two. He's ranked number four, but he has a good skill set. Speedy enough, very good zone coverage, and a smart guy. Luke Pierce at left guard is another guy we want to bring into the squad. 77, he also has that unfortunate normal development. But for offensive line, it's not as important to have the extra development as it is in some of the position players. Uh, Moses Smith at D-Tackle is another guy we can bring in to replace some of the guys that have gone by the wayside. 76 overall hidden development for Moses Smith. So it'll be good to see what he can do as we go into Season 9 of this franchise. Del Hughes is another guy that's looking pretty good. We bring him in. He, we take him at number 5. He's number 6 in True Talent. A 76 with Hidden Development, and he is just ready to go. Malik Kemp at halfback is another guy we're going to bring in to replace John Greer. So Malik Kemp is our new guy. He's ranked number one in true value. We took him at number six. He's an 81 normal, and he fits us so well. He's so fast and has 83 catching. Then we bring in Irvin Bird at left tackle. He's a hidden development left tackle. Number three in true talent. We took him at 43. So the value is insane with this draft pick. Then we have left outside linebacker Matt Clark. He's a 77 normal, and he's ranked number two in true talent. We took him in the 40s as well. So unfortunately, he's a normal. But hey, Brad Williamson is going to the Eagles off of our practice squad. So that sucks, but there we go. Newell will be the backup. Kemp 
is now there. Buda McKenzie will be the second runner, but Kemp will be the receiving back. Gregory, Spicer, Red, Sams, Duvall. This is how the team is changing. Just wanted to give you guys a little look here after the... This is the second sim season we're going into. I didn't show the team on the first sim season. There's Braxton Clemens, Lucas Waldron. They will be starting. Bronto is up to a 99 overall. Barrington is the backup on both sides with Stallings also at a 99. Dre Harris at a 96. Delshawn Winston's over 90 now. Kerry Clark and Bo Tatum both at 95. Blake Martino's very close to a 90. Keon Wild and Dave Zimmerman are 99s with Brown as a 90. Devontae Blade at an 82. And Anthony Buchanan's playing strong safety as a 93 overall. We also have Malcolm Camp, obviously. This is how the season went. Ravens 11 and 5, Browns 9 6 and 1. They both make the playoffs. Jags make it at 10 and 6 winning their division. Pats same thing. Chiefs win the AFC at 13 and 3. Raiders make the playoffs again. Lions win the division at 11 and 5. Packers make it at 10 and 6. Panthers win the NFC at 12 and 4. Falcons 10 and 6. We win our division 10 5 and 1. And the Niners win theirs at 10 and 6. Barry goes over 3K, 27 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. Still a decent enough quarterback rating. He did enough. Jeffrey Moore, very close to 1,500 yards with 10 touchdowns, 4.9 a carry. McKenzie, 11 TDs for him. In the receiving game, Randy Red still led us in receiving. We can't get a guy over 1,000 yards. We have done it once, and it was Keon Gregory, and he was over 1,400 yards for a season. But we have not done it since, and we didn't do it before him. So receiving has not been a thing in this Washington franchise. O-line did extremely well on defense. Stallings with 18, Battle with 10. That's a low number for Battle, but Stallings right around where he should be, but he's kind of declining a little bit here each and every season, unfortunately. Uh, interceptions, Buchanan and Wild with three apiece. Buchanan really getting the job done from the safety spot. You'll love to see him be able to do things like that. Force fumbles and recoveries. We had a good bunch of them. We had three safeties on the year, too. Barrington, Battle, and Dre Harris got them. Defensive touchdown, only Anthony Buchanan off of a pick six. Christian Kaufman went 13 of 17. 52 is his long. Malcolm Camp punted the ball really well, over 50 yards, both net and gross. Malik Kemp, not a bad kick returner. Uh, now we're going to go through and super sim the postseason just to show you guys how things have gone and, you know, provide some sort of excitement here watching things go along. So we are taking it to the Green Bay Packers. We went at 33 to 15. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? So they did not like it, but we beat their tail. Kirkland Kennedy actually played pretty well. Barry played well, too. No interceptions. Jeffy Moore ran for two TDs. Buda McKenzie added some good yardage. Isaac Spicer gets himself a touchdown, and you love seeing that kind of stuff. Defensively, let's see, what did we get? Delshawn Winston, Bo Tatum, and Bronzo battle all with sacks. Gerard Brown with an interception. Again, you love to see it. So we kick the pants off of the Green Bay Packers, and we will move into the divisional round as we had to play in the wild card round this time around browns over jaguars pats over raiders and niners over falcons so into the divisional the browns will face the chiefs niners go into carolina pats go into baltimore and we go for a date with tyler morris and the lions in detroit at ford field so we had the early lead, but they tied it. We take a nice 10-point lead at the half, then score coming out of the half. We give up a TD as well going into the fourth quarter. We score coming out of the break. They get it to a 10-point game, but that is exactly where it will stay. Tyler Morris again needs to go home as he will again not come away with another Super Bowl. Barry Van Buren got hurt in the game through three TDs, 167 yards on 18 to 20 passing. So he played very well. Tyler Morris got outplayed. Jeffy Moore goes for 121. Buda McKenzie adds his little bit in there. Bar Mariani Gregory with some touchdowns. 
that we always love to see. Two and a half for battle and stalling, so they were both cooking on that D-line. Interception for Buchanan again, who is playing really well in this postseason and helping us out. Browns by a point with a huge fourth quarter comeback. 18 to 3 in the fourth over the Chiefs. So there you go. Madden 20's darling. The Browns over the Chiefs to get into the AFC title game. The Panthers 26 17. That's another one of Madden's darlings in this. Carolina, they just love them so much. And then the Pats killing Baltimore. So it'll be us against Carolina again. Let's see what ends up happening here. Carolina takes the early lead. We get the tie at the end of the first quarter. Going into the second quarter now, we get a touchdown coming out of the break. And Carolina gives up another one going into the half. We take a 14 point lead into the half. We make it 21. And then Carolina gets that one back, makes it a 14 point game going into the fourth. We score a field goal, then a touchdown, and we get a 38 to 14 win. Barry Van Buren leading us into the promised land. Back to another Super Bowl. So two years removed now as the Panthers won and then the Chiefs after we had won two in a row. So we are back. We're back for another. Jeffy Moore, 135 yards and a touchdown. Buda McKenzie adds a touchdown as well. Isaac Spicer gets into the end zone. Calling out these touchdowns. Jeffy Moore in the receiving game gets into the end zone as well. On the defensive front, Stallings and Barrington. Two sacks apiece. Battle gets one too. Devontae Blade with the only interception. That's really interesting. I did not expect Devontae Blade to be the one guy to pick the ball off, but cool. We got a block from Dave Zimmerman, so that definitely helped us out. Tyler Morris ends up going to the Pro Bowl because he's not allowed to go to the Super Bowl. We're not going to have any Pro Bowlers here, but we'll run through. Hey, Alan Cousin, one of the very first draft picks in the series. Colin Mentor as well. They were part of the user draft classes. If you want to be in a user draft class for Madden 21, make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you subscribe because we are going to have a crazy franchise mode for Madden 21. That is definitely happening. Stay tuned for the reveal that is coming later today. All right, so we're going through here. Offensive Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year. Stallings was up there. Offensive Rookie, Kemp, number four. Not bad. We didn't have a defensive rookie in the fight there. Best QB, Tyler Morris wins that, but guess what? He won't be going to the Super Bowl, so who cares? Jeffy Moore wins best running back, and that's really what I care about the most. He was one of my most proud draft picks in the entire series. Andrews wins O-line. Stallings wins D-line. Linebacker we actually didn't have this year. DB. Keon Wild goes all the way to sixth on the list, and nothing from kicker either. So here we are in the Super Bowl, taking on the New England Patriots up 14-7. to Now we tie it. And they tie us after we take a 21-14 lead. It's tied. Now we get a field goal and a touchdown. We're up 10 going into the fourth. And it's a close one, but we do pull it out 34-28. We get the win over the New England Patriots who get back to the Super Bowl. We're talking even more years later than we did. So there we go. Our third Super Bowl in the series. You'll love to see it. Pulling away with another. There's Buchanan giving hugs to Patriots. What are we doing that for? Why? Why are we doing that? Walsh, the quarterback for the Patriots, I believe in this game. Just couldn't get it done. Curry used to be a Washington player. We traded him over there to New England. And, you know, we get the last laugh here. Another Super Bowl for this Washington team. Built a really good team here. Team's awesome. It's good to see them win. Barry getting his first Super Bowl. Tyler Morris won us the other two. There he is. Blake Walsh is the guy. 30 of 40 for 353. Three touchdowns, two interceptions. Wasn't enough to beat Jeffy. 128 yards, two touchdowns. Jeffy played out of this world. Gregory with a TD in this one as well. Mariani doing his part. So Gregory with the receiving touchdown on defense. Stallings. And Dre Harris 
with sacks. Dre Harris with two of them. Wild and Zimmerman with interceptions. Hey, what can you do? You can't stop that secondary and that pass rush. You just can't beat it. So we will do another sim season likely on Sunday. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content because it's all we do here, and I hope you're all looking forward to Madden 21. If you missed the team reveal by any chance uh, earlier today, make sure you check that out in the end screen right here. So